Hi, by Toilet here. Do you like music? I will analyze three deleted music videos made by Defouque himself. We'll go through what he was trying to tell his viewers, what problems he's been dealing with and how he overcame them. So the first song that we're going to start from is his song named Demand that was released in the summer of 2021. It talks about how he felt stuck and pressured to keep making videos all the time. He felt like he was living in a dull world and wanted to create something meaningful and life-changing. He wanted to get noticed by others. In the music video, young Dafuk is shown in a colorless world, fighting against a system represented by the cameramen who are trying to stop him from running towards his dream. This shows his struggle against feeling trapped and wanting to do something more important. The colors are constantly changing from dull black and white to colorful. When he sees his escape, his escape being breaking free from boring life where you have to constantly work to sustain yourself and produce content you may even not like. Dafuk is clearly a very smart and talented man. Inspired by old songs and movies, he wants to also create content that he enjoyed watching as a kid. Of course he's a one-man production, and he can't make everything on his own so he makes short funny stories in Source Filmmaker which helps him get closer to his dreams. But he wants to make better and more interesting content, and have wider reach, at the end of the video he breaks walls that surround him and almost gets to where he wanted but he realizes that there is a huge gap between where he is and where he wants to go. It's to fully understand what exactly this song is about because there are many ways of interpretation which shows how creative Defouk is in his art. Then later he makes another music video that's called Lonely, in which he continues the theme that he started in his demand music video. But this time he dives deeper into the loneliness that he as a creative person had to deal with through his life. The music in this video is slow-paced and has a sad tone. Instead of changing colors, this time he uses weather change to indicate that everything is good and bright, yet he feels tired of life and extremely alone. The rain is slowly pouring in more and more water until the whole room is flooded and he's drowning in it. This is a metaphor for bad emotions that he starts to drown in. He feels like he isn't understood by others, and that there is no one out there like him. He also sings about creators not caring enough for their audience. Next song that he made was a more cheerful one clearly indicating that he managed to beat negative emotions and get stronger. We see a more playful version of Defouk, that is making more jokes and overall seems happier. By the way, did you notice how his room is changing throughout the songs? In demand his room is grey and empty, looking really damaged. Next in lonely it is a bit better but still very empty, with garbage lying around and his bed looking very old and rusty. But in this song we see his room looking more or less like a normal one with his working desk and other things. I think this change was intentional because in his meme videos Defouk usually makes the rooms normal and could have clearly done this for his music videos, but intentionally decided not to, because he wanted to show his room as a boring and sad place. There are also recurring moments throughout the videos where shadowy figures are trying to surround him and consume him which are presumably anxiety and other negative emotions but he never lets them fully take him down and he keeps fighting back. In this song when that happens he actually changes the tune and starts singing cheerfully that if night came into your life it's embracing, and you need to fight back the demons because they are weak and your heart is strong. It's a very powerful message, especially because he shows that you can beat all negativity and get out stronger by showing how he did it. Honestly, after watching these music videos around 10 times each I can say that Defouk is a genius when it comes to jokes, visualization and somehow making his content so interesting to watch even when the topic is very sad. By the way, I talk more about who Defouk is and how he started making Skibbity Toilet in this video. Now I'll go and listen to Embracing on repeat. See ya.